Now from WJCL and Fox 28, the Coastal Source. This is the morning show. Maybe you're a great dad. Maybe you're a dad who once in a while slips into the all about me mode. Or maybe you're a father who really needs to step up his game. Well, author Greg Gray joins me this morning, all the way from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. He authored the book um, right here, Dad from a Distance. And uh, I was flipping through this, and I was really impressed by so many of your points in here. Thank you. And you've put together um, some, some, I guess, the greatest tips that you could give to right. a father. Yep. In this day and age, Greg, we got dads at the table with their cell phones, you know, we got all this busy stuff, better places to be when raising a child is the most important job of a father and a mother's life. That's exactly right. And uh, I can't think of anything that would be much more of a priority for any guy than to be a dad. Uh, the, the genesis of the book was really built on dads who were not custodial fathers, but mm -hmm. the fact is that being a dad is really about being a dad. There's right. some fundamental things that count a lot uh, for your kid and for you too as a dad. How about you going over some of the tips? You submitted okay. these, we put them up on, okay. on the screen, so make it real easy for everybody to see, okay. and it's a bunch of B's. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> First exactly. of all, uh, be present. Absolutely. Uh, this is all just about uh, making sure that you are showing up. Uh, it, whether it's uh, recitals or uh, our kids have lots of graduations nowadays yep, that's and true. sometimes we diminish how important some of them are but they're all important uh, uh, basketball games whatever your child is involved with there's something special about when your child looks and you can see them they look in the stands for their parents and I think especially look in the stands for their dads too there's a little light that goes in their eyes when they see the dads out there sometimes it messes up the play by the way because they wave but well, that's, that's okay, okay. too hey. yeah we like that that's we all like a part that. of it be connected I love this uh, you know send the letters and the cards the postcards whatever you know it's uh, it's like the good old mail that we we all love to go to the mailbox and get yes. something that's not junk <laughs> absolutely well and and for me in our particular situation not only was I distant uh, in terms of not living in the same home with the, my kid, but I traveled 40 weeks a year. Wow. And so uh, what I found was sending love letters, literally writing love letters or postcards from every city that you visit for those guys who travel a lot. Uh, those things mean a lot. And I remember uh, talking to my daughter much later in life about it, and she kept every single one of those. And, uh, and, you know, kind of made me feel real good inside that that had made that kind of impact. So that definitely shows how special. And just, you know, real quickly, you can Skype. if uh, that, yes. that, that is the day and age that we are in. So Absolutely. you can definitely Skype and actually get to see your child if you are on the road. <laughs> That's exactly um, right. Be respectful. Don't bash the mom in front of the children. That is a very uh, a bad thing to do because sure. the child loves the mother as well. Absolutely. Well, we all know that one of the quickest ways we could start a fight in school was to talk about someone's mother. <laughs> And, That's uh, true, Greg. and for <laughs> non-custodial fathers especially, there can be a tendency, if we're not careful, to forget that our children are listening to everything that we say. So uh, it's not only a good thing to be respectful of the mother for the mother's sake, but as you mentioned, for the child's sake, because they, they kind of log all that stuff in. And if you are respectful, quite frankly, it can kind of inoculate you against some negative messaging that might be coming down the pipe from the other direction Ooh, as well. That's so, very good. Uh, so it's a good thing to do. Absolutely. Also, picking up your child, uh, if you happen to be in a situation like I was where you pick your child up for mm -hmm. visitation, uh, if you're supposed to be there at 6 o'clock, uh, the mom wants you to be there at 6 o'clock. That's right. But guess what? That kid is sitting by the door. 6.05 in their mind is 9 o'clock at night. Yes. Every moment that goes by. Uh, is an eternity for them. So when you do good things in terms of re being respectful for the mom, you do good things for your kid too. That's wonderful. And just uh, lastly, it, this is kind of goes along with that. Be yes. consistent. You know, make sure that you're a reliable parent. And um, we appreciate you being with us. And this this book is so wonderful, Dad from a Distance. If we could put the information up on the screen, uh, I really enjoyed going through it here. I'm not a dad, but I'm a mom. And you know what? It, it, I'm going to be a mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you. Uh, I'm already Congratulations, ahead. by the way. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, it, it's important for any parent. I mean, I think moms can get almost as much out of this as as the fathers could. And I guarantee there are moms at home nudging dads right now. Well, hey, I hope so. You listen. To Greg here. Uh, wonderful, Greg. You gave us four copies, four signed copies of your book so yes. generously. Thank you. We're going to give them out to our viewers. So if we can put the information up on the screen, please email me. You can do so right now, jkiss at thecoastalsource.com. Leave me your name, your address, and your phone number in order to be eligible. 
Entry deadline, 7.30 this morning. We will notify the four winners by 8 o'clock this morning. Very, very wonderful gift. Just a great a great gift to have around the house. And then, um, real quick, where can people get your book if they don't win? They can uh, pick up a book at greggray.com, G-R-E-G-G-R-A-Y.com, and they'll get a signed copy, too. So we'll take care of that for them. Oh, that's fabulous. Thank you, you so much Thank for you being for here. Have me. a safe trip back home. Thank you very much. All Appreciate right. it. One thing real quickly, Dad from a distance. Oops, hello. <laughs> Dad from a distance, can we show, isn't she beautiful? This is Danielle and Greg. Danielle at her graduation, she wrote the forward for her dad's book. So remember, email me at jkiss at thecoastalsource.com for a chance at winning one of the four signed copies.